I'm here with Aaron Lim, who's developing Raster Power 2. Now, Raster Power 1 is already out there, so can you please tell us the difference or what's coming up in the Raster Power 2? Okay, yeah, so uh, Rise to Power was the first game uh, from Rule and Make, um, and that's basically what started them off uh, on their, their company publishing games. Um, and so the Rise to Power 2 is a sequel. Um, I think the original idea that they was they wanted to do an update, like a, a version 2 of, um, or more like a, a second edition of Rise to Power, because they've been publishing games for a while now, they've been developing a bit more game, uh, a bit more. Um, and there's lessons learned that they wanted to, to fall back into their first ever game. Um, and so we got into contact um, through a mutual friend as well and another develop designer with them, Cy Robertson. Um, and because they're so busy with publishing, so they said, look, we need a little bit of help with the development. Um, so I've started um, doing some work with them. Uh, so the main changes to Rise to Power are in the upgrade system and in the... Um, the spatial importance of uh, like you, you actually earn points for like where you've built stuff now. Like I think one of the feed, one of the pieces of feedback that they got from the original game um, was that it didn't really matter that much. Like for a city building card game, you didn't it didn't really matter that much where you built the districts in the city. Um, so that's something that was like high on the list of things that they wanted to to update for the second edition. Um, so there's updates there. Um, the contracts are now like. Uh, they have three different users uh, as opposed to two previously. So now the whole upgrade system is, is, is revamped. Um, that's the main thing really. So, so it feels a lot different to the, the original game. There's some other tweaks in like how the action economy works as well. Um, oh yeah, that's pretty much it. So, so if you like Rise of Power, like it's a tactical city building card game and, and you're really building a city now. Like it actually does matter where you build stuff. Um, but there's still that like action economy, like ma managing your resources and making sure that you've got um, enough resources to combo off and like like pull off really cool moves. All of that is still there from the original Rise to Power. That's very exciting. So how many um, how many players is the gameplay? Uh, up to four currently. I think that was one of the the issues with doing a lot of the things that that was learned was um, like. Probably wasn't a great idea to, to, to do a five to six player expansion. So yeah, I think we're, we're capping it at four for now. That's very good. I always like a good um, mechanism with when you build a city or city yeah. building mechanism. Um, and do you know when you're going to finish or any idea when it's going to be available for public? Uh, it's good. It's, it's, it's going to be quite a while. It's still in pretty early stages of development. Um, the plan, I think, it's pro probably not in the next year. I think. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest. I don't. I don't know. I'm just doing the development work for it. Um, this will be the first build that I send back over to Brisbane, where they are based. So, yeah. That's very good. I know it's involving a lot of work in development. Sometimes time can stretch a little bit. Yeah. Understandable. That's quite common for <laughs> audience. But hopefully it'll come up soon. I've play tested it. I've yeah. enjoyed playing it. So hopefully you'll work on it and we'll be able to see it on Kickstarter. Yeah, cool. cool. Thank you. Thank you. No problem.